Wednesday, September 19, 1813. My foolish older brother is struggling to fulfill his duties. Now the world will witness how incompetent he truly is. <laughs> A waste of an heir. I am tailor-made for his position. I remained at the top of my schooling. He barely made it to his classical studies. Papa arranged for a professor from Oxford University to tutor us. I took full advantage of the opportunity, losing myself in his teachings while my brother gambled away the family's fortune. Him inheriting the title is an infraction of logic and sense. It should be earned and not given by happenstance of who was born first. I should carry my father's name, not him. The king will be pleased with my work and one day... I shall earn the right to be duke, and on that day I shall rename myself Jean-Michel Louis Célestin. You are now listening to Prestige the Podcast, Episode 4, Second Place is First to Lose. Papa, merci for granting me access to the mint. It is marvelous. Jean-Michel, where is your brother? He was supposed to be here as well. As it is, 20 past noon, I assume he's still in bed then. Sorry to disappoint you, little brother. Emmanuel, uh, how did you get here? The Mint has many entrances. You would know if you were here of them. Your report, Emmanuel. In order to reach the circulation numbers you're requesting, we need more gold for the Mint to process. It's simply impossible to produce at the current levels. <laughs> Papa, may I suggest that we... What of the debt collection program? It it has shown promise, but we must triple our collection rates to make significant progress. We're still short by several tons of gold. I had some thoughts on how we should carry out the... It is of utmost importance that the new currency be launched by winter. Perhaps currency is not the most pressing issue facing the kingdom. Messy little brother, it seems as though you forgot your place in the hierarchy. Hierarchy crumbles at the sight of reason. Reason? (laughs) Jean-Michel... Hear my proposal. The issue is our countrymen. Emmanuel and Bertrand can make their rounds, collecting the gold, but if the coffers are empty, there's nothing much they can do. Our people are struggling. Oh, dear brother. I am simply trying to say we should focus... Spewing foolishness. As our brothers and sisters in bondage struggle worldwide, everyone must sacrifice for the greater good. But Papa... Jean-Michel, Celeste... I let you interrupt me once, but no more. Emmanuel, double your debt collection efforts. Triple them. The currency will launch in December as planned. Must you always... Are you hushed? (laughs) And uh, the door is that way. (laughs) Imbecile. My dear sister, drifting in the pool, shaded by palm fronds, guarded by marble statues. Oh, no responsibilities, but her studies, eh? A woman's life. Jean-Michel! Oui, Fabienne, I'll be there. Join me! I'm afraid not. Besides, this pool is not meant for swimming, Fabienne. What is it for, then? Your eyes. <laughs> A pool for decoration. The nobles and I are not shaped from the same clay. You speak as if you're not nobility. But you are. Love it or not. Join me, brother! Fabienne! (laughs) Stop! Join me! Fabienne! Besides, I have work to do. For papa? No, not at the moment. What was that? Pardon? That face... Are you mocking me? No, no, no. You are. <laughs> Emmanuel isn't the only one worthy of working in this house. <sighs> I never said such a thing. It is absurd that a coincidence of birth order allows him to take on the duties I deserve. Is that absurdity or irony? Fabi, please. So you are upset that you don't have to trudge around town taking gold from peasants? That's beside the point. It is not. Emmanuel has his entire life laid before him. A life full of ballrooms and meetings and pointless rituals. Besides, he is the eldest. His choice was taken away. Be thankful you have one. I don't care for rituals. I care about nation building. 
Emmanuel squanders his birthright, cavorting with the unsavory, wasting this, this opportunity, this power. Emmanuel is brash. Arrogant. Loud. Obnoxious. Egotistical. Frivolous. We, we, and we. But you, Jean-Michel, you are thoughtful, kind, brilliant, air or not. Not the affirmation I was searching for, my dear little sister. Wait! Where are you going? The greenhouse! You would rather talk to plants than join me in the pool? You and I are definitely not from the same clay. Oui, Fabien. I would rather spend my time here, in this greenhouse, talking to my plants, the living, than be inside with the dead. The only place worthy of my presence is the Ministry of Finance with my father. Only if the feeling was reciprocated. Until then, I'm here, where I can spend time thinking of ways to help this kingdom flourish far beyond the Atlantic Ocean. But what are you doing here? Uh, this is the Celestin estate. You work here? For the house of Milo? In a matter of speaking. Deepest apologies. I thought this was part of the Perdue's estate. I was in the garden and I must have wandered away. My sincere apologies. The greenhouse is adjacent to Perdue's. It is a reasonable mistake. Merci. I'll let you be. Apologies are never needed for an inquisitive mind. Perhaps I could give you a tour of the greenhouse, no? What's in your hands? Is that... It is... A Heliconia rostrata. rostrata. <laughs> also, also known, known as, as Hanging, hanging Lobster Claw. <laughs> <laughs> I've read about them, but they aren't native to our region. Oh, impressive. And what about this plant? This one, the largely brightly colored one. This may be the only specimen in Haiti, a gift from my mother from San Juan. That must have been a burden to transport back. Surely, but burdensome things are most worth the effort. Certainly. And it must be wonderful for your mother to travel. I'd love to see the pages I've read in books come to life. The evening primos is a sight to behold. If you stay until after sunset, we can watch it bloom together. Uh, of course, a young maiden such as yourself should not be unchaperoned after dark, and I, I did not mean to imply... Uh, apologies, it's just I get really <laughs> excited. <clears throat> <laughs> There's no need, Jean-Michel. Look, it's getting dark. I lost track of time. I must be going. Perhaps we could meet again. Uh, to discuss flora and fauna? Perhaps. And she's gone, just like the wind. Such beauty, such intelligence. That kind heart of hers, that vibrant smile of hers. My brother may have the title in his grasp, but he could never have a mademoiselle such as Leonie Bijou. Mm. <laughs> Prestige the Podcast is a Rainbow Media production. Today's episode featured Shane Montprime as Leonie Bijou, Joshua Jean-Baptiste as Jean-Michel Celestin, Jean-Charles as Emmanuel Celestin, Jobert Metelus as Louis Celestin, and Denise Milfour as Fabienne Celestin. The podcast was written and created by Ray Benjamin and Ollie Kins Planchet. Produced by Joseph Fuentes, directed by Ollie Kins Planchet, and executive produced by Ray Benjamin and Ollie Kins Planchet. Our sound mixer for this episode was Joseph Fuentes. The sound designer was Alexis Adimora. Editor and engineer Alyssa Midcalf, with additional editing by Joseph Fuentes. The Prestige podcast theme song was composed by Darnell Monestine. Our production assistant was Maya Cryer. Associate producers Mick O'Neill J. Planchet and Shaquan Womack. For business inquiries, email us at info at prestigepod.com and follow us on Instagram at prestigepod for more information and updates. Thanks for listening. <laughs>